Welcome back, folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in this Twinkle Tips Friday video. Hey, we've got some interesting information. If you are new to X Lights and you're learning about how to make the very best layout and get things situated, sorted, and lined up exactly the way you like, then this video is for you because we're going to talk about setting up your groups for centering. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back to the PPD YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments during this video, please put them down below or anything that you're trying to have a better understanding with in X Lights. And we'll, we'll be happy to share the information via the YouTube videos or on our Tuesday night get togethers in our, uh, in our weekly Zoom. We do a, a Zoom room every other week. We do a webinar. One of those is coming up rather soon, actually, in a couple days. So you might want to join us. There's information in the description below below. Uh, also, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps. And uh, if you do comment and share the video with other people that are challenged and trying to learn things, we really appreciate that as well. Thank you. So let's get right to today's little bit of a lesson. One of the things that many people may not consider or may find challenging when they first begin using X lights is that Sometimes things don't, uh, sometimes effects rather, do not line up and explode or shockwave or in general don't start from where they believe that the effects should actually start at. And so they end up editing the effect to start in a different place. So I want to show you um, the things that have been added into X Lights to help us center where to tell X Lights the effect should be in the center of. And it helps the user so that they can kind of center things the way that the uh, effects should always render. So let's go ahead and hit the screen here by clicking on all of our groups. A couple of our, not all of our groups, but a couple of our groups. Um, if we click on these groups, what you're going to notice is that in the center of the screen, you see this big red X. Actually, it's not an X, it's a plus sign. I always say X, it's kind of like X marks the spot. What you're looking at is the approximation of exactly where the center of the group is going to exist. And that way, if you were to put an effect on here, the direct center of the effect would be at that center point of the X that you see. Every group has this X, every single one of them. And if we come over here, we'll look over here, you see, see how this says an offset of minus 108 and a offset of y plus 40. So X lights has actually been told that take this group, move the X over a negative degree of 108 or 108 pinpoints, we'll say, and then move it up 40. And so we're moving it from one side. We're moving it from we're moving it from where it was to where we want the effects to um, take off from or to be the, the 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 begin point so to demonstrate this what I have here is I have the layout and I'm in the all display group the one that we were just looking at and if I click on the uh, single strand effect that I placed on here you can see that the effect is starting right at that roof line that center roof line now if I scroll in here you'll see that it starts right in the center of this line, this horizontal line. Now, if I go back into the layout, this is exactly what I'm telling it to do because I'm telling it to start right here. Now, if I go back into the sequence tab, let's reset this, and we go back here to the tab, and let's rotate the effect back to the normal way. Uh, let's go to none. You'll see after we zoom out that where the effect starts is roughly right there in the exact same place. Now that is the vertical line that you see here. I physically chose this location and you can tell because I physically entered a specific number that is relative to that beginning point because natively this group doesn't line up there. In fact, if I come up here and I right, I select the group, I right click and I hit 
I select the clone group option. Now I've created another all display dash two, and I can come down here without ruining my existing groups and I can put zero and zero. And you can see here, this is the native center location for the all display group that we've been using. And now you can see why we don't want uh, to have that shockwave or that center of the effect to come from here because it doesn't make sense to me visually the front door is the center of this house so I moved all of my uh, kind of uh, the plus sign the big red X uh, I moved all of those to center exactly in that spot but look what happens if we go into the sequence tab let's go into display elements and we go here to display two. I'll just click and drag this over. And now you can see, if I zoom out here, you can see here, whenever it's on this level, it goes right through the front door. But if we now move over, uh, move this up, you can see that the center point is right here. Now, this is important for you because if I sequence a certain way, and you want your effects to be centered off of a certain point, you don't have to change the effects that you import from our sequence or any other vendor sequence. Xlights is going to natively, natively apply that center point because you're going to take the time to go from this here to this. So it's totally customizable how you set this up. Now, let me go over since you've seen a little bit of a demonstration of this let me go over here into my layout now this is my home layout a number of these items I didn't get a chance to put out but for the most part everything was out there so one thing that I hadn't considered though even though I didn't put everything in the show was where I centered all my props so if I click on my all display look where the center of my uh, all display is now is that bad no it's not bad I should have certainly taken the time to center it a little better to make it look just a little bit better. So this is what I would consider to be the center of my whole house or my all display for uh, for my property. And your mileage will vary. Whatever you think looks good is what's going to work the best for you. And the great news is, is this is tied to your layout. So when you automatically render all of your sequences after you've made these changes, all of the effects will then be based off the center of where this X is. You will not have to, if you're importing certain sequences from different vendors like us, you won't have to change the center point on the effect you'll be able to utilize what has been done naturally because your layout is set up for that. So if I were making my all display centered, what I probably would do, I'd move this to the right. Now, if I click and hold the button here, it's going up by, it's going up by certain increments and then it goes faster a little bit. I'd say right about there, maybe a little bit further, maybe 255, how does that look? 255, and then I would say the center of it would be I, I I'm I think the garage matrix I think that that part of the house kind of defines like the center point of where you might see things shockwave yes I know that is completely different than what uh, we did here on the pro layout because this is the way I had it set up it's a much smaller lot it's a smaller property but I think in my opinion of course I'm an expert at my own opinion but and again your mileage may vary maybe that this point here is a good center point and maybe I need to bring it up just a little bit here so if we click and hold the arrow up button you'll see it's slowly kind of climbing and they'll go a little faster and I think right there maybe a little bit more maybe 360 oh, maybe a little bit more let's go 400 I think about the top center of the garage maybe even a little bit more right maybe uh, 270 that's a little too far 260 there we go I think 260 about marks the spot right there that point in the garage if I were to zoom in I think this is exactly where the center of my all display should be because if I do a shockwave from the middle uh, uh, an explosion or a single strand like we did in the other uh, on the other layout this would be the center from which it would travel out from um, so what I can do now is for the all house 
I can sit there and say, oh, wait, the all house has these props on it. Well, where would that center be? Maybe that my all house should be here, right here in the center of the house. So what if we did, let's say, um, 400? We'll get a good head start. I think that's good. Let's go up to about the center of the house. So I think that right there would be the center of my all house. Um, my all house decorations, I would probably do the same thing. I would pinpoint, let's say, this point here on the center of the house. And if I clicked on my other props here, the all house decorations, boy, that's really off. Let's go um, 500 over. There we go. Well, I, I got it. 400 was better. And then we'll just go up. Let's, uh, let's go 400 up. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. I could do the same with the all roof. Um, it looks like the all roof is pretty well centered. Um, I really don't need to make any other changes to that. I think the upper and the lower there looks pretty good. Next, why don't we look at like the all yard. Now, the all yard is a good group to kind of uh, mess around with a little bit. I would say bringing that over and centering it in the middle of the driveway might be a better uh, option. So if we uh, let's go 250 and hit the tab over. And if we probably come down some and just see where that ends up at. I think that right there makes a good uh, final location for the all yard and it, it kind of centers everything out. Again, I want to I want to point out that all of this is very subjective. Where I put the center of my X marks the spot uh, is going to be most likely different than your center. As I said, folks, your mileage may vary. It's important that you give it a shot. Everything for everybody in this hobby is unbelievably customizable, and it makes it so hard for one person to do everything exactly identical as the next person. And that's because we're our own people and we have our own ideas. So it's a really good idea that you take the time to center some of these groups and put the X or the plus sign in the exact spot that you think it should be for your layout, for your show, so that you can get some of the very best results in your show. Guys, that's everything for me. Thank you for joining us for this Twinkle Tips Friday video. If you like the video, please give us a huge thumbs up. If you haven't done yet so, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell for notifications so you never miss any videos that we put out. And also in the comment section, please let us know what you think of the video and give us suggestions for other videos of things that maybe you haven't learned yet that you'd like to see a special Twinkle Tip Friday video just for you. Remember that you can join us every Tuesday for our Tuesday Zoom Rooms. You're welcome to jump in 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We usually have a webinar or every other week we have an open mic night. And if you have questions, you're welcome to ask them in there. The link to that is in the video description so you can find out more. And you can join us on our PPU Facebook group as well. We have a wonderful community which you should totally join. And if you appreciate us, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. We do one amazing sequence each and every month just for our club members, brand new to the store. Always do new songs. We've been doing two new songs a month now for, well, probably 19 months now or so. Thank you for joining us, folks. We will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now. All right, guys, if you would, please share with us your comments down in the, the video uh, description. Uh, bleh, bleh. Nobody has the exam. Uh, exa exam. <laughs> well, guys, I, 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 I really wish that I had spent the time doing this. I might have had a couple of different, different results uh, that I had noticed. Um, over doing this with my other with my old layout uh boy that's all stuttery